Hello and welcome to the Super Cheap Auto Store in Penrith and welcome to another episode of the Unicorn Circuit, your weekly dose of thanking car news, weird stuff off the internet, story time and of course a whole lot of crap cars and uh, we've got a, we're, we're in the round Martin, there's, the there's round. people Check all around us. We use this technology and I'm going to show people just how many people there are, look at this, do a very quick lap, hello everyone, hello everyone, it keeps going, it keeps going, hello, it keeps going forever all the way back there, look at this mad car. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so uh, today's going to be a big show. Uh, hopefully we're going to give away some prizes as well, Martin, uh, which no one at this store knows about yet. That we're just going to start giving stuff away that they don't even know about. But, uh, but that's going to be fun. Martin, we've got some car news. We're eating some whack food and, uh, and we're revealing a new project car right now on the intervals. It's going to be amazing. So Martin, let's, uh, let's kick it into car news. So for car news this week, we're going to start off with our own cars because you guys have all seen them. A lot of you guys have seen them as well. Um, Supergrams, what's happened to that thing? Well, it's still got no roof rails. Last time we went to, uh, we had our Canberra meet and a few people said, where are your roof rails? And I said, they're broken. So I fixed them and I put a whole new inside in the car, which is super exciting. There's going to be a few more videos coming up on that very, very soon. But speaking of very, very oh. soon, the Mini. Oh, okay, yes, uh, the Mini has a new gearbox now, uh, and it works, which is amazing. Um, it hasn't been tuned yet, uh, but it's got to get a new headlining done. Um, but, Muddy, we've been driving around. Uh, it now does, like, 9,000 RPM, uh, VTEX like crazy, um, and, uh, and it's actually very close to being finished. I know we say a project car is never finished, but the Mini is very, very close. And it may even finish uh, at a similar time than another little car that we've been working on may finish and could create an epic battle. Do you guys know what car we're talking about? The mirror. the mirror, that's right Martin, how's that little pile of junk going? That little pile of junk is amazing, it's got its floor, the floor is done. Last week, uh, Mechanical Stig and my friend here and myself, uh, we put our floor in, which is really, really exciting. So it's all painted up, the video, there'll be a video coming out on that in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, and then we can start putting parts in it, like literally screwing in wheels and suspension and shock absorbers, it's amazing. Martin, it's very exciting. Now, you may have seen recently we went to a Subaru meet. Has anyone here been to a Subaru? You, you've got a hat on. You've got a Subaru? Yes. Uh, he does. RS. Yeah, yeah, look at his hat. It's a 94 white sedan. Sorry. It's a 1994 model white sedan with an ABS and a sunroof. Less than 19 in well. Australia. There you go, Martin. Tell us all about it. That's amazing. Is it an RS? Yeah. Oh, he's got an RS Liberty. Let me tell you about RS Liberty. So RS Liberty's in 1990... Uh, uh, no, sorry. I'm not actually, I won't do it to you. Not this time. Okay. Not this time. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I went to a WRX meet, a uh, Subaru meet actually, um, and, um, and everyone was vaping there, that's, that's a Subaru thing, everyone had hats on that looked like that, um, and everyone basically looked like this, it's like, it's a whole thing, we've been realising recently like that, that there's like a whole, they look a bit like do, you, do you have a Subaru? Yeah. yeah, see, that didn't work. Hands up, he's got a Subaru. Look at that! My people. Yes, well done. Yes. Congratulations to all four of you. Who's got a Nissan in here? You are not. Yes! Camera yes, guys twice as many. Up. Who's got a Volkswagen? Euro Poo. Yeah! Yeah, vocal. Girl, girl. Was there a guy with one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes! Awesome. Uh, what else? Who's got a Mazda? Yeah. Yes! Uh, Ford? Yeah. <laughs> one dude. <laughs> Holden? Whoa! And now the best of all, who rides a motorbike? Yo. Oh, look at that! Motorbikes for days! Uh, anyway, Martin, I do believe that you would like to tell everybody about the new Mighty Car Mods. It's the other show we make. It's rubbish. Don't even look at it. But I do believe you have a new uh, project car, Martin, and you would like to reveal it to our friends here today. So anyone who's been following the series would have seen the WRX and the Evo. First time we saw the Evo, it wasn't actually, uh, wasn't really told whose car it was, and that was intentional because it was mine and I was still dying of embarrassment. Uh, anyway, no, so we... <laughs> So the Evo is awesome, owned it for a year, great car, automatic, flappy paddle, put you, put you to sleep, which is very dangerous at the wheel, make sure you don't sleep at the wheel. Um, and after I got rid of that daily, I, had to, I found myself with no daily. Supergrams was leaking water through the roof racks that I hadn't put on yet, which is my own fault. And it started raining and I'm like, I don't have a car. Rain, Subarus, haven't learnt the lesson yet? No, that's, that's not the first time. That's twice, isn't it? No, no. It's actually twice. Come anyway, on, so I fixed this one. This one's staying, don't worry, not going anywhere. Anyway, so I had the Evo and I'm like, I need a car, but I thought, I want to experience a car I hadn't experienced before, just like the Evo, 
experience something new. Have you noticed that every time we buy a car that we're embarrassed about, we say, oh, we're just trying to try something new. We want to see what the other side's like. We only do that when the car we buy suck, because when we buy cars that are good, we don't have to justify it. This is super awkward having to put this big thing in each of our mouths, but normally we can, uh, you, you, your turn. <laughs> Except that this car doesn't suck, and I'm not embarrassed because it's freaking awesome, because it, it is a, ready to beep this for the outside world? Uh, I'll do the drum roll, Martin. It's a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I, I, I want to get, uh, can I get, get some, some opinions? reactions? I want to get some opinions. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Pretty sick. Good, bad. Great. Up, thumbs Great. up, thumbs down. Up, up, up. No thumbs, no thumbs down. There's none. Oh, like this guy, hang on. <laughs> hang on, Mr. Mazda over here. <laughs> Mr. Mazda, no thumbs down, why? Yeah, because MX-5 is a better computer. <laughs> Unless you got the old one. Dude, I got a Oh, then it's another story. Oh, I said without actually saying which So it's a 9 inch JDM Turbo One. I love how you think that any of that makes a difference. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty funny. My only funny story is that maybe I've told before is a guy who was in a Bunnings car park late at night in a doing helis, someone called the police, they came down and obviously parked his car and the cops were like, were you doing burnouts? And he's like, no, nah. and his mates were there and then the cop like goes up, <laughs> only some people might understand this, and then the cop puts his hand on the bonnet and goes, he was telling the truth, it's not hot. <laughs> See, car people get that joke. I mean, it's not a joke, it was real. Uh, the engine's in the back, so the bonnet's never gonna be hot. Man, um, it's time for your crap car, but we've already done that segment. Ah, uh, no, just kidding. Uh, it's time for Is It... Uh, what do we call this again? Is It Even Legal? Is It Even Legal? <laughs> Martin, this week yep. in Is It Even Legal, we're talking cars. Now, in Italy, apparently, people like to express their love in a multitude of different ways. Upstairs, downstairs, top floor in the garage. Number ones, twos, and threes. Number threes. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, but if someone needs to use your toilet and they say they're doing a number three, you should be concerned. Anyway, man, uh, so this is the thing. This is the weird law for this week. Uh, in Italy, it is illegal to kiss while you're in a car that's moving. And if you're caught doing so, you'll be charged 500 euros, which is considerably more than the combination value of all of your vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. So uh, next up, Martin, we're up to our uh, most... Um, oh, yeah, no, I don't even know what order this is meant to be in, but next up, Martin, uh, it's my crap car. My crap car is where you show us your cars. Awesome way to see a variety of cars from all over the world. We've had some cars... Where do we go? Trinidad and Tobago. No, that's the wrong segment, isn't it? But they've yeah. got cool cars there too, and Malta. Where are we going this time? Uh, good question, Martin. I have no idea because awesome. uh, my internet's not on at the moment. So we haven't actually seen your videos, but with the magic of editing, we're going to insert something in. But before we look at crap cars from the internet, let's see if anyone here has a crap car. Put your hands up. you got a crap car. My man, come on down. Tell us about your crap car. <laughs> what kind of crap car have you got? Uh, it's a 99 Toyota Camry. Yep, that's crap. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a prize. Um, <laughs> you can choose anything you want from the store. Oh, no, I just saw that. Oh, the stuff running. Let's, let's cancel that. Uh, give him an air freshener, please. <laughs> All right, who else has got a crap car? Yes, my man here, what kind of crap car have you got? I've got a 2000 WRX with a bomb. What? That's good. <laughs> crap car, crap car. Anyone else got a crap car? One more. Yes, my, my friend here, what kind of crap car have you got? A 99C Mirage. No, that's awesome. No, we can, we can, we can be friends. 99C Mirage. Let's uh, just you can move, move it on. Motor. Uh, Marty can start. Yep, wow. There you go. High fives. Mighty car mods where quality cars come to meet. All right, now uh, let's edit in something that we have no idea what it actually is. Uh, this, is the, um, this is the crap car of the week. Unicorn circuits and... Uh, this is my crap car. It's a 1983 RX-7, Mazda with a wankel. It hasn't been rotary for uh, this one. Rusty, temperamental. But she usually runs, usually. Our uh, 
brake caliper and rotor are spinning free now. So that is good. It's time to start it again. So there it is. Um, what an amazing crap car that was, Martin. What did you think of that one, mate? I thought that car was particularly crap. <laughs> I did as well. Now, Martin, let's just hook right into the most inane and embarrassing part of this show, which, of course, is, um, which is thanking. Let's do this. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualising a product like a food item. Doesn't have to be a food item. Could be a GoPro, but that wouldn't make any sense. By taking a photo of it near your crotch, yes, that's right. Super mature, but good for some lols occasionally. What have we got this week? Well, Martin, I think we're, we're, here's what I'm going to ask everyone to do. After we do our unicorn circuit, I want you guys to go around the store and try and, like, there's cars and tools and, like, parts everywhere, so you'll find some really awesome thanks. Best thank I'm going to give a substantial prize to maybe a gift card of a hundred dollars. Done. I don't have one, um, but <laughs> I'm going to ask for one. So, so best thank of the day. But, yeah, but when we finish Unicorn Circuit, you're going to have 15 minutes to come up to us and show us your thanks. Anyway, Martin, let's hook into it this week. Uh, it's going to be hard for our friends out there to see. Uh, actually, impossible unless you've got. That's actually not possible. Uh, but, Martin, for the people on the intervals, who are the ones that complain the most, uh, here it is. <laughs> Martin, first up, what have we got? I don't know. Martin, that is wanky veg. Oh, nice. Wanky veg. Well done to the wanky veg. Next up, Martin, we've got <laughs> rub some butt. Now, Excellent. That actually looks delicious, Excellent. doesn't it? Would you, would you do that? Yeah, I would. I'd put it on my steak. It says slap some on. <laughs> Amazing. Martin, next... Oh, wow. No. OK. No. No, next one. Next one. No. No, no. no. That's, no, that's no. very clever, isn't it? We can't show that on the internet, but look, <laughs> you meant to drink that. No. No. It's... No, you'll see that on the internet version. Martin, here's a, a whole milk, but H-O-L-E. What's, what's happening to that cow? Uh, the, the hole is being filled with milk there, Martin. Martin, that's the big D. The big D, well that, Do they sell the big D here? No, I don't think so. What is the big D? Uh, I have no idea. It says... Oh, oh It says spray, spray... Oh, it's, dude, it's for killing insects. That's inhumane. All right, Martin, next up, what have we got? This is a bad jerk. <laughs> no one... No, there's children. Let's just move on. Martin, this is a... Oh, oh nuts, that's a I double like that. fank. Nut patch, well done. Double fank, extra points. Nut patch, boiled nuts. Well done. So rude. Our parents are so proud. Martin, here it is. Oh, wow. Don't that, know what that, that means. No, Martin, that's rim forcer. It's like the enforcer, but it's a... It's super rude. It's IKEA. Well done. Martin, this is bush. Actually, it's thick. It's a thick bush. It's the best in the country, apparently, Absolutely. Martin. It's about to be baked. Next. What have we got? Cream-filled trunks. <laughs> 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 Someone's been swimming. There we go. And Mega Poo, Aussie style Mega Poo. Well done. Yep, Aussie, yep. love it. Well, they didn't even have to cover anything. Does that still count? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, and Martin, it's about to be Fank of the Week, my friend. So, Fank of the Week this week. Congratulations if you were the person that had that much time on your hands to send us this. This is the extra filthy. I can't say that in front no, of kids. No, you can't. It's the extra filthy super thing. Cockatoo. <laughs> uh, well done. Uh, of course, you can send thanks in if you'd like to be featured on this rubbish show. Uh, to uh, Just go to the Facebook page. It's uh, faceballs.forward slash balls. It's on the thing. You there it is. It Man, next up, we've got um, weird stuff off the internet. Weird stuff off the internet, otherwise known as weird stuff from Unicorn, is when we get weird stuff off the internet. Occasionally, people send us stuff, and occasionally, they send us stuff they've made themselves, which is extra awesome. So this is from JL Design and Fabrication, which is a young dude who happens to like 180SX slash Sylvia's, poor fellow. Um, and he's written us a letter, handwritten. 
the extra awesomeness. It says, hey Marty and Moog, my name's Jordan. Watched your videos from the very start, massive fan. That means he's at least 10 years old. <laughs> yes. Probably older. Um, this is a parcel you'll find some GIFs I've made and in, I hope you will like it and install it on Tay Tay. <laughs> because he's made us a, is that the bit that goes over the coil packs? Yes. So he's made I us a so. custom coil pack holder cover thing, which is pretty awesome. You should unwrap that, man. It's a, st a, stain a stainless cover. And then two small brackets, Martin, to hold the radiator on. Look at that. Oh, that's mad. Well, Homemade stuff. Thanks, Jordan. That's really cool. Tainley says, add two MCM brackets to replace a factory radio mount on an S chassis. That's, that's awesome. Rad. Oh, it's laser cut. Very cool. There it is, everyone. Thanks, Jordan. That's mad. We'll put it on Tay-Tay, then we'll do some skids, hopefully, on Monday. All right. Uh, it's time for My Town, the segment where you show us your crappy towns. Let's do this. My Town is the segment of the Unicorn Circuit where you take us on a little tour of your town. Your town might be good, it might be crap, it could be one of the best towns in the world, like Penrith. <laughs> like I said, we need to come here one day. Um, don't we, Martin? We need to do a little My Town, and then we need to put on like our big boots and our big jackets and all of our ropes and all of our backpacks so that we can climb Mount Druitt. Um, all right, so um, again, um, we're not even going to pretend we know what town we're talking about because we haven't even looked. We are not professionals, but it's about to cut to an incredible... Um, I know it's going to be good, Martin. Do you know how I know it's going to be good? Someone here is going to make one about Penrith before Monday. Oh, yes. Someone. Someone. More we than one. We'll, we'll use multiple. Yes, we could use multiple. Okay, here's what's going to happen. This episode will go off on Monday or Tuesday. In between now and then, one of the... Who's actually going to do it so I can hold them responsible? My man, come over here. There's Dude, th this, this is the first time... Oh, is it you? Did you say you're making one? I was saying to the guy behind you, but if you can make videos, that's awesome There's too. There's one here too. There is one here. Dude, what's your name? Mikey. Mikey, are you actually going to... Do you live in Penrith? Yeah. You do? Tell us what's the best and worst thing about Penrith. Uh, the Mondo. Yeah! <laughs> What is the Mondo, man? It's where all the lads smoke their cigarettes and take bra. <laughs> OK. Uh, I actually uh, I spent four years in Penrith. Um, I, um, uh, I went to university, University of Western Sydney. Yeah. I ran Kingswood. And, um, and it was like my birthday, like 21st or 22nd birthday, and I, we hired like the kids' area of McDonald's. And, and the McDonald's clown turned up. She had actually had, she, she'd had a bit of a rough night. She was still drunk was missing most teeth and had a black eye. And she said she'd fallen down some stairs while dressed as Ronald McDonald. So we're, it's only uphill from here. So man, tell us about the video you're going to make because we're about to cut to it. I'm going to have to show you the Mondo. Uh, Aqua Cran Golf. Aqua Golf. Aqua Golf, Cranbrook Ovals. Uh, all the little junkies kicking the soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they're, they're, and, and by that he means they're eating a lot of junk food. Yeah. All right, man, so what, what's your name, Mikey? <laughs> Mikey, you'd better do it or a, a couple of million people are going to think you're a dickhead. No, so, no, no. so you're going to do it? Yeah. Great. Yeah, and, and send it in to um, mytown at theunicorncircuit.com. Did someone else say they were going to make one more feature too? Let's double up, my man, come down here. you got a beret on and glasses and a lip ring and a jacket, so you look interesting and frightening already. Dude, are you local Penrith? Yes, lived here my whole life. Your whole life, man. Tell us a few amazing things. For the people out there, we have viewers all over the world. Tell us about what's the most exciting thing about living in Penrith. Train station out of here. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, do, do you work in Penrith as well? No, I work in Parramatta. Okay, and what do you do there, man? Uh, I'm a machine operator. Okay, what, do, what is your machine operating? Uh, makes pulp. Paper pulp. Paper pulp, okay. Uh, so, Penrith. What were, if you could give us like three things, if you were the real estate ad for Penrith and you were trying to convince people to move here, what are the three things you would raise them would, that would, like the three reasons that would be compelling enough to move here? Um. <laughs> and there it is, everyone, Penrith. So, and, and dude, you're going to make us a video as well, correct? Yep. Yes, straight after Olivia. Excellent. Amazing. All right, there it that is. Way. So we're featuring two My Towns this week. They're both Penrith and we're cutting to the first one now. That was a really well made video, wasn't it, Martin? That was, that was incredibly well made, like, oh, I'm just, the, the production value. Welcome to Penrith, New South Wales, Australia. This is, this my, is my town. town. Done. What? Is somebody screaming? And someone screaming.
Penrith is located about 60 k's west of Sydney at the foot of the Blue Mountains, which makes us some great roads to drive on. <laughs> this gazebo in the Nepean River may not mean much to most people, but I married my wife here. This is my 2005 Subaru Liberty. It's dented in the front and on its second engine, with a naturally aspirated EJ25, but I love it. We have multiple attractions in Penrith. <laughs> I fly. Aquagolf! Panthers. Penrith Stadium, home of the Panthers NRL team. The Nepean River. And even a vibrant dining and bar area right in the middle of our plaza. Don't forget Oakwood Gold. This is the Mondo. Apparently this is where the kids hang out on Thursday night. Don't know about that, but I guess it's the kids that aren't cool enough to have cars. Mm -hmm. Thanks for visiting my town. <laughs> Another superb video featuring the amazing landscape and natural habitat of Penrith. Uh, if you'd like to send a video of your town that's probably not as good as Penrith, uh, you can send that into my town at theunicornsocket.com. Next up, Martin, it's story time, and I do believe you've got an utterly frightening story to tell us. Um, uh, let's cut to story time. Before we start off, I just need to check something because we did actually have to check this story with our lawyers. Um, that we are removing a name, is that correct? Yeah, not naming if, if names. We won't name, okay. Not naming names. Uh, we legit had to check this story with a lawyer first, um, and names will not be used. Let's call it, Martin, the uh, ABC Company. Done. And if you have the ABC Company, it was purely coincidental. Check the legal disclaimer in our description. Uh, here's a story about the ABC Company. So this is a uh, dark, uh, dark tale about the day, which was about seven days ago when I lost his Mini. A true story. My Mini was lost. We had no idea where it was. And um, we were on the phone to lawyers and police and it was a very frightening afternoon. And this is how it unfolded. So I booked a car carrier because the car was up at AM Auto with Dos Vader because he's like, I want to sort out some final drive gearing stuff. So we'd gone up and hung out with him, whatever. And the car was going to come back so we could bring it here the other day to film some stuff. So that was our deadline. And I'd gone, cool, going to pick the car up, we're going to have it before the first. It was like three days before that, and I rang the car carrier and they said, oh, no, you're not going to get it for 10 days. Mm. I went, oh, that's, that's not awesome. So Mechanical Stig's mate, he said, you know what, I'll go off and I'll get it tomorrow. So just ring the guys, tell them that they're going to get it picked up, and I'll come and get it. So I, cool, I went, cool. Rang ABC Car Carriers, not the actual name of the business, and, um, and said, hey, guys, can I, can I get the Mini picked up tomorrow morning so we can have it in time? No. Oh, but I really, really, really need the car, so can I just pay for the tow? And, then, and they said, yep, you can, um, you can have the car, but only if you leave us positive feedback. And I said, can I give you positive feedback after I get my car back? And they went, no. I just want to add a little bit to the stories that we had an agreement that the car would be uh, not put in storage and would be picked up and brought straight to Sydney. So when they said, no, it's actually going to be a couple of weeks, it was kind of against what they'd agreed to do. Um, but uh, so at this stage, Martin, um, what happened next, mate? So, at this stage, I said, well, well that's, that's not awesome, so um, can, I, can I get my car? So they finally let me pay for the tow, which is the full price of the tow, even though it went for one hour. And um, then bing, bing from the bank. And then, and then yeah, so, and then, um, so paid them, and then a couple of minutes later, I got a message on my phone saying fraudulent transaction on your credit card. I was like, this isn't looking good. Uh, and then I asked them for the address, and they hung up. Yeah. So I had no, no idea where the car was at all. Had the money, had the car, freaking out. 
he was relatively calm, but he was sitting down and sweating and pale. Uh, so anyway, so um, an hour later, Mechanical Stig somehow magically called them, managed to get an address from them. Uh, Mechanical Stig's mate went up to pick the car. Oh, can, I, can I add a bit? This is the awesome bit, though. When we actually finally got the address from them, we looked on Google Maps and it was just bushland. Like, there was nothing actually there. So as a quick summary of the story, we paid a car carrier to bring our car to Sydney. They took it part of the way, then wouldn't tell us where it was, took all the money from our credit card, then our bank told us it was a fraudulent transaction. Money gone, mini gone, and they wouldn't talk to us. It was an awesome day. Anyway, it ends okay though because the next day uh, our mate got there and went to that address. There was nothing there, no one there, just a paddock. Eventually they found the car under a car cover in someone's front yard. So yeah, be careful who you book your car carrying with if you car carry. There it is, everyone, a tale of woe that ended up being a tale of goodness. Um, and this is the end of our show. Uh, there's only one more section, which is our random meat bag. I do believe that after this, we'll get some um, selfies with our friends here and give away some stuff that we're not allowed to give away. Um, who needs to service their car at the moment? Does anyone need to service their car this weekend? So my man uh, there with the hat, I just chose you first. Go down to the oil section and just grab whatever you want and I'll just make him give it to you. I think, <laughs> no, seriously, go and do it now. As in and, one bit of oil. Yeah, just go and grab it. Go and grab like a thing of oil. As long as it's Castrol Edge. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, okay. So, um, Martin, it's time to finish it. No, go do it, man. I'm not joking. Yeah, go and do it. You, you will not be arrested until you walk out of the shop. <laughs> no, it's just, just go get yourself some Castrol Edge, man, and, and, and you'll be loving life. Uh, Martin, this is it. This is random eat bag. Let's cut to our graphics and finish this thing off. <laughs> Random Meat Bag is where we eat magical unicorn food that's delivered to us via the unicorn, via this particular bag. Unicorn food, taste the magic. Open it up, mate. Our mate here is going to open it for us. There's some camera action. Let's get see what's in there. This week, I believe, it's also come from There's overseas. There's two things. What do you want to try, man? This one? All right. Oh, yes. Haribo Volcano Fizz. Have you got a parent here with you? Yeah, where are they? Can they come on over? Oh, yeah, <laughs> come on over. Here you go. Uh, is it okay uh, if I give your son some candy? Do, do you want to come over as well? Just say hello? Are you in witness protection? You should stay over there then. <laughs> All right. Um, well, man, this, is, this here is a, a Haribo Volcano Fizz. Is this okay for me to give him one of these and film this? Just one of, That is? Okay. Man, this is a Haribo Volcano Fizz. Um, grab one. It, it, the picture is too. a volcano exploding. And tell us what it's like, man. The suspense. Oh. Oh. It's fizzy. How fizzy is it out of 10, do you reckon? 10. <laughs> OK, it's 10 fizzy. Now, um, hand them out to the people. Very nice to meet you, mate. Very nice. Uh, thank you for coming so to weird. try a fizzy thing with us. I'm from Germany, I think. They're crazy. Who else wants to try something? Do you want to come and try something? Is that OK? So she doesn't weird. have to. If she, my man down there. So weird. I don't blame you. Candy. German candy. You, my man with the hat. My man. Yes, you. Yes, here we go. Here you go. No, no, the, the little fella over here, but you, you can come playing soccer today? Come out. Footy? Soccer? Yeah, footy. footy. All right, we got sent these anonymously, uh, so I can't speak about the contents. These Take are called on, jungle please. snouts. Take one hand on. A snout out for epicness. Here you oh, go, what? fellas. It's a jungle snout. I don't know what it is. Um, you guys are about to find out. Where are they from? That's a great question. I think they're Germany, man, or Holland. Germany? Um, or Holland. Finland. Finland, okay. They're neither. from Finland, man. <laughs> Do you want to try one of those? Yep. Have you got a mum or a dad here with you? Yeah, my dad's Your dad, is it okay for, for him to eat? Yeah, he's Thumbs not allergic up. to awesomeness. All right. <laughs> okay, man, grab one of those snouts, chew it up, let us know what you think. <laughs> nah. Are you kidding me? What nah. Is nah. Is it, is it good? <laughs> not good? No. Nah. Man, do you want to try one? Yeah, you will. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> Awful. It looks great. Does anyone want to try a jungle snout? It sounds bad. Come on, someone's going to like it. My man here. Jungle snout. There you go. It can't be as bad as everyone's making out. Oh, no. no. I want to try one. Really? It can't be that bad. Oh, that's... Oh, that's really? All right, my man, grab a jungle oh, snout. Oh, no, don't do it. Snout. Don't do it. Right. It's salty and it's weird. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. It's salt covered licorice. Anyone out there want to try a jungle? Oh. Grab a snout and pass it on, but I'm taking oh, don't one do first. it, man. No, they're great. Oh. Hello. Do you guys want to try it? Actually, I'll get you a nice lolly because 
you look like you deserve a nice one. <laughs> Fellas, thank you very much for coming on the show. Have you got a car yet, man? Yeah, man. No, nah. the, uh, no, nah. they're gross. RS. Nah. 2004 RS. Here, have a hat for you and your little mate over there. Terrible, thank man. you very much. Cheers, man. Martin, I do believe that's the end of the show. I believe you're right. Yeah. Like a, just Take one and pass them on. Oh, Is that okay? It's not, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> All right. That's the Unicorn Circuit for another week. Thank you very much for watching. Keep your eyeballs on the Faceballs, faceballs.balls. There it is, Martin. Any, uh, any final words? I'm going to eat a snap. No, don't, don't eat it. Oh, oh. No. Oh. <laughs> That's the worst lolly I've it's ever had. Avoid the, the jungle snout There's at all costs. Else. Thanks, guys. See you next time. <laughs>